This is hydrogen tap. What uh, we're looking at here is the new Aaron cell that I'm putting together. It's two and a half by six inches. It's, the construction is going to be exactly the same as the other Aaron cells. The only difference is that it's going to be two and a half inches wide instead of three. And the reason for that is there's a lot of people using these filter casings. And it's very hard to get anything to fit in there, and I know that. I've got a lot of questions, a lot of people asking me if they can buy plates so they can fit it in there. The plates that I'm making right now, I'm not finished with them, will be two and a half by six inches. It's the same length of the orange cell. It will have 15 plates in it. The same spacing, about an eighth of an inch. I'll have that up on the site, hopefully in the next day or two. If anyone's interested, please email me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com. That's johnarons at hydrogentap.com. I don't know if there's a market for it. I'm presuming that there's a lot of people out there who are trying to experiment with these filter casings. Matter of fact, I started using one of those. If that's what you're interested in, drop me an email at hydrogentap.com. That's John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. I'm the exact width of the plates. I'm still working on that to make sure they fit. I may even make them contoured so that it fits in a round. We'll see how that works out. Again, the plates are going to be around two and a half inches wide by six deep. I'll have some pictures of that when I'm through if you're interested. Otherwise you can go to hydrogentap.com. I should have some pictures of it up in the next day or two. I'm getting ready to go out again with the Honda, finish the installations. I've been doing a lot of tests and with the plates I'm trying to get the temperature down inside the plates right now. I've had some, a number of people giving me some suggestions, and uh, they're very good suggestions. We'll see what happens. I've had a number of people still ask me about the pulse system. I'm still very interested in it, although, as I stated before, I'm interested more in it about using it with the Honda so I can turn down the amount of action that's in the cell. I still don't believe that the pulse system will generate any more than what we're seeing, especially with the, well even with my cells are doing very well, but if you look at the smaller three inch cell, that's the Widowmaker, to me I'm getting such results, I just cannot believe that it's the pulse system that will do it. Here is a, a good view of my pulse system here. What I've done is revamped it so many times, I'm finally just leaving it as it is. And you can see all my wiring. I've had a, a tech over here with me so we can do all kinds of things with it. It turns out it's it's so much easier rebuilding the thing outside the case and it is putting it together. Uh, if you look over here you'll see I'm running 
partially on D cell batteries. And then of course my trusty Heath kit. One of the things I've been working with here, I don't know how many people are like me, trying to get things to work beyond what they're supposed to. This is a, what you're looking at there, is the old system they used to time the cars with. Puts out a pulse. What I did was tap on the rear end of that two wires and I can get a pulse out of that. Put that to a transistor and you've got yourself a, a frequency. So I have been working hard on the pulsing systems as well as the other things you've been looking at. And If you look real close here, this is an output gate. It's like a transistor. Every time it gets a real faint pulse or power or voltage you could call it. It passes it through and that's what I'm using to pulse my systems. And you can see how eloquently I'm doing that. You just don't have the time to do it any other way. Don't have the time to reap put it back in its case. I'm using two 555's here. There's one of them and there's the other one. And they work very well as dual pulses. One gives you the pulse, one gives you the width. I've gone back to this system because they're really cheap to get, real easy. You can get them at any electronics store by the dozen. Uh, the schematic you can find that almost anywhere. I will be uploading the schematic of this. I have made a lot of modifications on it that won't be in those schematics and I'll see if I can keep the modifications so you can look at them. Those are the pots actually potentiometers and I at one time had everything here connected real nice and neat. One of the things I wanted to show you is this solid state relay. This one here is 3 to 32 volts DC in and as you can see it's 40 amps 240 AC out. The ones I have in the Honda are DC out and they'll run around 50 amps out. It's all solid state. Handles a lot of current real easy to work with. This is just one of them. Like I said, this is an AC solid state relay. The others are DC. The ones I'm working with in the Honda are DC.